I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Dialga. Back in the original Pokemon games, the story featured a young boy taking on the Pokemon League in the local area around Tokyo. He had a run-in with the local organized crime ring, and after he established himself as champion, he encountered a powerful monster in a cave, and maybe along the way he found some mysterious birds. By the time we're at the fourth generation, before the Pokemon League is even beaten, the protagonist has already taken on a megalomaniacal fascist who summoned a deity to try to rewrite the universe, captured that same deity, and saved the whole world! Dialga is the legendary Pokémon of time, summoned by Cyrus at Spear Pillar in Pokémon Diamond. It's a Steel and Dragon type that looks like a long-necked dinosaur dressed up in armor and jewelry. Pokémon Diamond tells us, It has the power to control time. It appears in Sinnoh region myths as an ancient deity. And Pokémon Pearl tells us, A Pokémon spoken of in legend. It is said that time began moving when Dialga was born. And Pokemon Platinum tells us, A legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh. It is said that time flows when Dialga's heart beats. The name Dialga, which sometimes I still pronounce as Dialga, of course sounds a little like Diamond, the game for which it appeared on the box. It also incorporates Dial, like on a clock. In the DS games, Cyrus tries to control Dialga with the red chain, but with the help of the Lake Guardians, the player can set it free. In Platinum version, both Dialga and Palkia are summoned, causing enough of a disturbance that Giratina appears to put a stop to it. Welcome back to Does Andy Remember Gen 4 Pokemon? And if so, does he have any thoughts about um Dialga? Oh no, Dialga. He is the big one on the box. For Diamond. Correct. Um, he is the Lord of Space. Ah, oh, the other one. Ah oh, no! It's time! Yeah, like a dial, right? On a, like a, on a clock. Oh, right, sorry, with, from the name. Yeah. Because yeah, you didn't call him Dialga, you called him Dialga. Diamante. You kind of threw me off a bit. Uh, um, I'm probably wrong. Yeah. Well. Probably. I mean, I prefer it as Dialga anyway, that's how I pronounce it. Yeah. Now, now you've just said like a dial. Or a diamond. Made me question everything I believe in. Like diamonds in the sky. Pokemon Legends Arceus tells us, This Pokemon is revered as a deity in Hisuian legend. The birth of Dialga was what caused the vast river of time to begin flowing in our world. In that game, Dialga and Palkia are actually out of control, and the player has to make the red chain to keep them under control. When the player's choice of monster appears, it's in an all-new origin form. The game says, Radiant light caused Dialga to take on a form bearing a striking resemblance to the creator Pokemon. Dialga now wields such colossal strength that one must conclude this is its true form. Dialga did indeed have colossal strength at its origin. During the initial fourth generation, Dialga was a force to be reckoned with, capable of attacking or defending competently, and without the weakness to ice or dragon which usually plague dragon types, in the 2010 video game championship world finals, a Dialga was on four of the top five teams. Dialga continued to do well. Its steel typing meant it survived the arrival of fairy type better than most dragons, but eventually, the ridiculous power of Pokémon like Primal Groudon put an end to its career. Ironically, years earlier in Pokémon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, a phenomenally powerful form of Dialga called Primal Dialga served as a dangerous boss. It's easy to accuse the fourth generation games of being too over the top, and I do sometimes feel the additional scripted scenes take away some of the feeling of telling the player's own story. On the other hand, it does feel pretty epic to battle gods on top of mountains, capture them, and ride them into glorious battle. Music for Luke Plus Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. 
Writing, producing and editing is all by me, Luke Summerhays. Funding is provided by lovely listeners. If you'd like to help keep the lights on or give your thanks, head over to patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. There you can find links to the other shows my pals and I create. Or for just a dollar a month, listen to episodes as soon as we're done editing. I love hearing from you guys. A five-star rating and review on your podcasting app of choice, or even better telling a friend about the show, would always be much appreciated. Our next monsters are Palkia and Heatran. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about those or any other Pokemon on Twitter or Facebook at LukeLovesPKMN. Catch more Pokemon content at twitch.tv slash LukeLovesPKMN, Friday nights from 9pm UK time. And even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Dialga. And remember, I love you too. <laughs>